Good morning everyone! Still the same name, doing three videos a day. Oh my god! Um, this is still August 7th, oh my god. Um, on my way to work here. Uh, in my stupid fossil, I know. It's a crap car, I hate it. It's the ugliest car in the world and I hate driving it. It's loud, it's... Ah, it's disgusting and, and, and everything vibrates. I need an electric car. It's, why are they so expensive? Damn it. Okay. Um, next car that I, I drove and what I think about it a few months later and, and the last one, yeah, it's a Nissan Leaf 2 with the 40 kilowatt hour battery and the 120 kilowatt motor. The Nissan was amazingly comfortable, amazing power. It was uh, uh, beside the Tesla the most powerful. Of course, Tesla was way more powerful, but amazingly powerful uh, motor. Um, around seven seconds to, from zero to a hundred kilometers even though the speedometer on the Nissan Leaf is not that accurate so when you have 100 shown you only drive around 92 so ooh -hoo, I think that's a bit off uh, charging speed is okay unless the battery is hot we all know the, the problem with the Nissan Leaf with the 40 kilowatt hour battery that it doesn't have active cooling so when you charge uh, fast charge the battery it gets hot and then when you drive and charge uh, your two three hundred kilometers and you charge it again and it's it won't cool down at that time charging speed is is dropped in, in it's cut in half and for a new car that's a big thing especially when it's made for long distance so that is a problem with the new Nissan Leaf with a 60 kilowatt hour battery that should arrive end of this year or next year. Um, it has active cooling, has more, it can charge faster. So this will be another game changer, I think. This is all about the price. I don't know what that will cost. But again, Nissan Leaf 2 with the 40 kilowatt hour battery. Great interior, <coughs> sorry. Great interior, great seats, uh, comfortable drive. A lot of feature, a lot of settings, a lot of things you can see. It's a lot of fun to drive the car. The range is good. Um, only if you do very, very long trips, then with the rapid gate uh, charging speed loss, that can be a bit annoying. Other than that, it's really great. You can see how fast you're charging, so that's good. So you know, oh, I'm slow or oh, it's a good speed. And so overall, Nissan Leaf is a, is a great car. I liked it. Nice driving. What uh, I, I retract was that the uh, regen is not that great. I found out later from a few Nissan Leaf owners that the physical brake in when you drive e-pedal uh, only is being used uh, when you're uh, coming to a standstill, so under 10 kilometers per hour or something. So it's really all region and it slows the car down and that's great and that's a lot of fun. E-pedal driving was great, really, with one pedal, no brakes at all, great fun, great idea. A thing that I found out that's not as well is that the steering wheel is not adjustable. I mean, huh? For a car at price and for many features that it has, that's a bit weird. Um, okay, but again, Nissan Leaf, great car. I would get it if I could afford it. It was a lot of fun. Problem in Germany with the car is the uh, Jetamo plug. They're getting less and less. And uh, Type 2 charging with most of the other cars except for the Renault Zoe is very slow. Even the Kona that will come out still has only 6 or 7 kilowatt charging on, on, on AC Type 2. And that's a bit slow, but when they update all the chargers and they get more and more triple chargers with the CCS charging, then it's okay. Okay. Thank you very much for watching, have a great day and take care.